Hello. Good afternoon, ship owner. It is the 29th of July 2020. Disruption in crew management. What is this? How can it be done? Well, there is plenty areas that we have been doing this throughout the day. This is Antonio Gandina, Captain Antonio Gandina, 1896, wrote in a little paper, I want to be a maritime officer. In the pharmacy at Amburu, England, yeah, because his father died. He was a teacher, and uh, so he knew how to write. And in the pharmacy, receipts you have to make and so with nine years started working there in front of in Plencia town in my time school so it was like a 50 meter distance from the pharmacy to the my time school now it is a council so this is how they destroyed utility the public sector but disruption in crew management so how how well um, first of all, the bank transfers are lowering, they are almost uh, zero in most of the countries. But we have a different 300 uh, digital platforms now, which probably the disruption in this will go towards one, two, three type of, uh, type of uh, transfers, which we are already negotiating. Two, uh, the contracts that you have the loan and ad cost. Obviously, it is better to have the ad cost because you pay for the platform this, then you pay for the platform. You don't have to pay for the whole setup. So you only pay for what you use when you use. So our fee is 2% of the total, not the loan sum. Plenty owners are contacting because they have loan sum structures structures sorry in the past which must be broken down and disrupt in all the different digital disruption areas and let's go to insurance let's go to health prevention can i get this uh, pcr test and this uh, coronavirus uh, medical examinations are they useful for something uh, how can i do this digital fast reliable reply 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 minimum cost do do i need a crew management agency was the agency for so important to take care of this or not well nowadays if you want to have a mobile phone this is mobile phone then you pay these companies that make these mobile phones they don't do this um let's say how can I explain disruption in crew management? They don't do these uh, apps they have here. I don't have so many apps because they take away the memory. And uh, yes, so I use this uh, to have this there. And the situation is that these apps, the telephone, is it important? Of course it is. But what is the cost of this? Then it is 2%. Do we get percentage of any of these app suppliers? No. Are they interested in joining our network? Yes. Why? Because 98% is the uh, overheads miscellaneous. So these are going to be at cost. And I have economies of scale. They are not going to put one app in your mobile telephone my dear ship owner because the, there is no economies of scales they need to have something like uh, let's say uh, one million four million mobiles and then they can invest into intrinsic value to be here so it's very simple now I am doing the same thing I am doing this in the bank transfers, in the suppliers, in the travel, in the wages, in the nationalities, in the logistics, in our databases growing exponentially. But you don't have to be lumsum budget. You can be disruptive. I will be disruptive for you. Yes, because I have the economies of the scale. I will charge you 2%. 
and this is very simple situation that it is going on. If we have to pay, for example, in Filipinas 20% to the government out of the wages, we will try other countries that $1,000 wage goes directly to $1,000 pocket. And probably very soon it will be all digital and so no one will take any dollar that is yours by the NC board. This is something that I have as mission to disrupt in any particular place. We are not in associations that are not required, only in IMEC, which we believe for the moment it is important. It does have to change in some little areas. I'll explain in videos and in different books and how these associations have to improve. We are making digital AGMs, so the, it is improving. It is missing in intrinsic compound evaluation reporting digital. This is the key area that we need. And ITF, International Transport Federation, we intend to lower from $330 per seat further to say $33 per year, $2 per year is enough. Why, why do we have to pay or will the telephone take care? It's not me, it's the telephone. You see, this is the guilty one, it's the telephone, not me. So this is the situation of negotiation. And uh, we have to compete with this, all of us. And uh, you, the airship owner, you have to be disrupted in your sector, in your field. So I can be for you, I can get this 2% and you can look long-term nationalities and uh, long-term stability, health, of course, now is health. It was before and you have huge videos, huge budgets. I am making now a new set of budgets because throughout these videos, disruptors in the labor markets are Asian countries, which I thank very much because then not only people complain about disruption, but some go jump into the disruption ship and these are going to be the survivors and in Asia they love to jump into this disruption training for seafarers, a school for seafarers and uh, simplifying systems in, for example in India they were thinking to regular to make it uh, regular uh, regularized or say to make it control the uh, uh, recruitment and placement uh, foreign companies could not use Indian group and then now it is possible so it is possible in many other countries so then what is the requirement of having the MLC certificate if this telephone can do it then why do I need to pay for auditors but so there are areas that we are fighting and that is the huge pool of India has been an example Thailand also has been an example and many other countries like Malaysia are looking to this video so that they can be disruptive and train a lot of seafarers because the sea will stay here for the long term and the tides and, the, and the, unfortunately the, 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 the level of the sea is going up some say more or less but the, the, we are here to stay so we the airship owner are going to continue to do disruptions in crew management very fast yes we are already two percent agency fee even being employer you can choose from singapore from panama you can choose either the spanish flag from bilbao or canarias because we even disrupted the vat the jig i invented the system so they never collide those two. So that's the passage. Yes, that's the passage. And it is a safe one and it has huge current. So we can do that very fast. We can do it today. We don't need to wait for tomorrow. Today is 29th of July. We look forward to listening from your benchmark. I can do this benchmark for you for free. I just love doing it. And 
this is what I would do, this is here in the numbers, here's in the contracts, here's in the suppliers, I can do this, I can improve this health and safety insurance, I can improve this wage care, I can change it from euro to dollar or dollar to euro, today the market is like this, we have some policies for recruiting like that, we have this kind of digital disruption appliances and then we can start working very, very fast. I have huge amount of show personnel here in Bilbao. We do the accrual management and finance exclusively. The employer, the contracts are all signed in Singapore and Panama and the digital um, um, disruptions too, because tax, very simple. So this is what we are here waiting for you to tell us because you don't need to have any show personnel. You can just... Why you need to... If I want to use a travel agency, I can go just to digital, I can... Well, it is, it is specialized, so that's my point. And why you need to have personnel if you can directly contact me and tell me the budget and I will do all the work for you and I'll defend all your interests at zero risk, long-term intrinsic compound fund. That's something I don't, I don't get. It's like if I go into the stock exchange and I want to invest some money in any companies, then why do I have to pay for looking after my money and buying the shares? Why cannot do it directly transparently? Why do governments have to get money out of the profits and everything? Why? Do I need to have one person working for me exclusively to doing that? Or can I just subcontract? Okay, please. I need you to crew 10 ships. Tell me the budget. Okay, yes, I can do that. And then provide you a lot of areas. I need your cost and I need your contracts in order to tell you what to improve in the long term. And this can be done today. Situation of coronavirus will make us more specialized than before. Perhaps we have to go more for local crewing. And uh, this is a fact. Perhaps local training governments will start to react to this and think, well, if there is another virus, I can get uh, no more crews, I can get no more retail, I can get no more hospitality, but oh gosh, I can get employment on board ships. Did not I think about this before? So we are working here very hard, dear ship owner, to defend your interest because we can stop this travel and we can stop these uh, ecological problems and, and most of times it is the rosters but not is even the rosters I already mentioned three is the fourth one is the training perhaps we can train these uh, prisoners in better uh, uh, more modern areas of interest on board your ships and perhaps your ships can move alongside the next automatic system so that then it's like mode one, two, three, four, five is uh, driving, then five is completely uh, hands on. So then perhaps ships will move that way and then we need to train the electricians to do that way. Center. So it is very important for me that if we do this in the local, before it was like more complicated. So now it is becoming more complicated. It, it is becoming more digital and this is the disruption that we are. Boom. That's where we are. So then, and we are the most competitive because this video is an example. I mean, we don't have a public television to pay for. This is zero. So we are completely disruptive in this sense. Yes. So I thank you very much for your time. And I hope to get your contracts and budgets so I can review at no cost with no interest at all just to benchmark. I believe that this is the right you have to compare and analyze if the people that work for you are really so professional as with the crew management companies have to. Thank you very much. Take care.